I think you're going to enjoy these area and perimeter questions. I always like these types of questions where you can draw a little picture and solve it. So we're building a square sandbox, or Ella is. Hopefully she lets us join her. And it has a perimeter of 12 meters. How long is each side? So if the perimeter is 12, right, we can get real fancy and well, let's just do it. So what's the perimeter? The perimeter is 12. There are four sides, so 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So how long is each side? 3, 3, 3, 3. You guys probably had that since it was 3 without actually doing the, the formal now. So 3. Find the perimeter of a square dog run that is 6 feet long on each side. So this is the opposite question. So now we have... 6, 6, 6, 6. I'm wondering how big a dog run that would be. My, my dog would not be happy with that size dog run. But we are happy to answer this question. 6 times 4 equals 24. So that would be 24. Find the perimeter of a square plot of land that is 14 feet long on each side. So here it is. 14 times 4 is 56. What is the perimeter of a rectangular piece of cloth that is 18 by 17 meters? Okay, so now we have a rectangle. And it's very squarish because 18 and 17 are really close. Like if you saw an 18 by 17, well, that's a huge piece of cloth I just realized. Okay, so we have 18, 17. How do we find the perimeter? Well, we have another 18 here. We have a 17. And we have to add these up. Now, I'm going to add them up like this because eights and sevens work nice together, right? Eight plus seven is 15. And then we have 10 and 10, so that's 35. And this is another 35. And that's fun to add because 35 and 35 give us 70. So if you ever see an eight and a seven put them together, because maybe you'll see another 8 and another 7, and you'll put them together, and you'll get a perfect 10. If a rectangular dog pen is 5 meters by 10 meters, what is the perimeter? Okay, so here's 5. Here's 10. Here's 5. Here's 10. Let's put these 5s together. That gives 3 tens, or 30. There is a 64 square foot house for sale. If it is a square house, how wide is it? Okay, so by that, we, we mean the, the actual base of the house, right? A house is a 3D object, but the floor could be a 64 square foot house. So we're just talking about the floor here. So this is 64. Also a very, very small house. Um, how wide is it? Okay, so this would be 8. Well, okay, I shouldn't guess the answer, right? I mean, let's call this x. And let's call this x, right? So then we'd have x times x, or x squared equals 64. I don't know, if you haven't seen the algebra yet, all you're doing is finding out what times what equals 64. So that would be 8, the square root of 64. So we're looking for the square root of 64, or 8. The front of a dishwasher has an area of 64 square feet. How long is each side? OK, so here's the front of a dishwasher. There are all these knobs. I don't understand what any of them mean. I'm sure there's some miracle person who does. 
And there's the front of this washer has an area of 64 square feet. So what we do for the length of each side is we take the square root of 64 and we get 8. If Jacob's room is 169 square feet, how long is each side? Assume his room is square. Okay, so the floor is 169. The question is, what's the square root of 169? And the answer is 13. That's a good one to put in your memory bank. Now, what they might do is say something like, Jacob's room is 169 square feet. What's the perimeter? Well, then you'd have to take the 13 and you'd have to multiply by 4, right? So then that'd be an extra step. But here it's just asking for each side. Find the area of a square room whose sides are all 10 feet long. Okay, well, we've got 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. But we just have to multiply 10 times 10. Right, we take each of these tens and we multiply it by 10. So we get 100. Kevin is buying a rectangular house and is looking at one that is 14 feet wide and 6 feet long. What is the area of the main floor? Okay, very good. So 14, 6. The area is length times width. Because you take this 14 and you lay it out over and over again. It's like, imagine you had a floorboard and each one was 14 feet long and you laid them out. Then you'd have 14 times 6. So it'd be 6 times 14. 24, put a 2 here. So that'd be 84. So the area is 84. All right, guys. See if you can calculate some areas in, in your house or maybe for your desk or your book or, or whatever. Get a ruler and, and have some fun. All right. I'll see you next time.